All right, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is out, the birds are singing, and I got some medical stuff I gotta do. I gotta give some blood, and then I gotta give some x-rays. So, let's get to it. Let's get this done today. Hello? Hey, are you at home? Uh, no, I left. Oh, okay. Why? What do you need? Oh, because I wasn't sure if you were here or not. What do you need? I wasn't sure if you were in the bathroom. I was just thinking if you were here. Why? Are you scared? No. Hmm. Are you working? No, I'm going to my doctor's appointments. If my employee would know what my schedule is, she would I know these things. I keep asking you for your schedule, but you don't want to give it to me. You ain't asked me for my. You know what? What, what did I call? I have hey, proof. what did I call? I have proof. What did I call you the other day? What was your new name? Joe? No. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. There it goes. <laughs> Listen here, Johnny. You know, as I just signed up. Cause I have to get my blood and uh, for my doctor. I just realized something. Healthcare in America sucks. It really does. So as I'm getting my blood drawn, the young lady's looking at my tattoos that I have on my arms and she notices the first one that I got with Kelly last week. And then she notices the other one with my mom's signature and she goes, Hey, that sounds like that name seems familiar. And then she goes, Did she used to come here? I say, Yeah, all the time. And then she goes, The real happy lady that always had her nails done? I go, Yep, that's my mom. She passed away. And she was so sad, and it brought me to tears in there because another person that my mom, you know, made a difference with just her nails and just her presence. So, Mom, wherever you are, you, you made a difference, Mom. You made a difference. You know, but this young lady, when she, you know, took my blood, it was just like, oh, the lady with the nails, you know? And I was like, yeah, that's my mom, her nails. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> so I just had a bone scan again, and I got that done. They're pretty efficient here. They get stuff done. That's what I like. Some people live life. Go explore some shit. Go climb. What is it? Mount Kilimanjaro? Go do that. Don't have any kids until you're ready to have kids. Don't take on debt unless you're ready to take on debt. Be free, explore, kind. What you put out will come back to you. What you put out will come back to you. Go, young people. Go be free. Before I drink my Jamba juice. And yo, here's another thing, young people. Develop a skill. Develop some type of skill set that will always help you find work. So never be in a state of where you're not trying to learn, where you're not trying to develop a skill set. See, it comes back to doing what you love. See, when you do what you love, you will build a skill set. And that is very much vital in today's economy. So I came to see Chris. She was knocked out asleep. And I didn't want to bother her, so I just left the flowers there. I'll come back later on. I'll try to call her. And we'll see what she says. So now, I think since I'm on this side of town, 
just going to run by to my mom's grave site. Just for a minute. I know that she's buried there. And I know that she's not here in my presence. I miss her terribly. What I would do to just hug her one more time what I would do to just help her one more time Oh, mother, I miss you so much. Golly. I told my sister this morning, you know, if I had a shitty mother, this, this probably would have been easier. But I didn't have a shitty mother. I had a mom who was amazing and who just loved me. God, like no one else can. Like, man. I'm driving down my old neighborhood. Here's Tecate Market. Here's Delia's, what used to be a little grocery store. And here's King Street. Look at this. So look, something that I found out late last night. Young man by the name of Mike, um, he was he was gunned down in a drive-by last night. And I played basketball with this young cat, Whew, man, for a few years. Uh, when he lived here in Bakersfield, California, he went back to Oklahoma City because that's where he was from. And he was just a nice guy, um, good basketball player, nice guy, always, you know, respectful, courteous. You know, just, you know, he was just one of the fellas, you know. And when you have a bond like that, especially when you play basketball, you know, you, you become friends with these guys. And, and, and you, you meet people from all different walks of life. And it's just sad to find out that he was gunned down. And he's he was like, what, maybe 26, 27 at the most. And um, it just... It just really sucks to know that, um, you know, he's not going to be here for his kids, uh, his wife, and it's just sad. It's just sad that a young man is, is no longer here. So, prayers for Mike and his family. Um, I'm sorry. You know, here's something that's interesting. <laughs> I give someone a job, and I try to give them the easiest way to do something, and yet she wants to tell me to shut up. Just shut up. Oh. <laughs> why, why is your stuff so complicated on the phone? You're talking about all the time. Oh, you could do everything from the phone. The phone is the phone, the phone, the phone, the phone. But you're like, well, go on the computer now and do it on the computer because that would be easier. But in reality, you're just like, the phone, you can do anything on the phone. You can film on the phone, the phone, the phone, the phone, the phone. It's not my fault. I didn't make the fucking app. <laughs> do it one by one. I don't care. You're getting paid the same damn thing anyway. Yeah, they get, get paid. <laughs> I, you're about to. Oh. <laughs> you, you're, you're about to get your last paycheck, Johnny. Have you seen my Apple card? No, show me it. I want to see it. I've been meaning to ask you, but I didn't see it all yesterday. You want to see my Apple card? I do. You want to buy something on my Apple card, don't you? 
You're my bank. <laughs> to be a mentor anyway, so you got two. I was like, yeah, right? Like, yeah, I'm good, right? So, I go into the next class after lunch, my lunch, and she's, I hand my friend my charger because he needed to use my charger, and she was sitting in the row behind him. And she says, so what's up with you and a mentor? And I said, what do you mean? She said, why'd you tell Dr. Parks that you don't want a mentor? And I was like, well, because I feel like I don't need one. She's like, oh, you're going to need one when you have those research papers. I said, wait a minute. The mentors are here to mentor me, not tutor me. Thank you. And I would appreciate if you didn't listen to our conversation because I could have been talking to you for something very personal. And you don't need to be eavesdropping in what I'm saying. So I appreciate if you don't listen to my conversations with her. Okay? Second of all, you don't know my personal life. I already got two parents that are very, very very involved in my life and I just don't need a mentor so thank you and I walked away. That was so bad. <laughs> I just want to know who the hell were you looking at over there as you were talking? <laughs> I was I was explaining <laughs> how I was like she was right here while I was fail. she was right here. <laughs> she was sitting down I was standing up. And I see you ain't got G, huh? I had to because I was mad. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> you came out of me instead of mom usually, because mom usually you know she can <laughs> You, I I chatted my inner you right. I was like, this is ooh. <laughs> 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 and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay yeah, uh huh. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, let's go. You know, I was so I felt so empowered, and I told mom. She's like, I'm so proud of you, honey. I'll say, yeah, you know, like, we out here, we doing it, we're doing big things, we're gonna try to make things work. We're surviving and thriving. Two dollars, <laughs> thirty-two dollars on what? What is it? Oh, this. What is it? Clothes. For what? What are you doing? Projects. Oh, you're just, you decided to just do it. Because you know why? Because why? How in the world did we have that conversation and my Bible study got canceled? And salvation just so happened to be open still. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> I think yeah. it was fate. Yeah. That's my oh, grandma Y'all don't wanna have to Y'all don't wanna have no Bible study? Oh, and I just got paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I That's think it means grandma. I'm supposed to go shopping. That's my grandma Diane talking to me. She Ooh. said she would have said it was fate, me, huh? So it's fate. You know it too. <laughs> so today's been a pretty good day, but there's something I want to leave you with, and that is a Kanye West song. Now I know a lot of you don't like Kanye, but I like Kanye. Um, but this song is called Streetlights, and in the song, the first verse, he says, Seem, uh, Seems like streetlights glowing happen to be just like moments passing in front of me. So I hopped out the cab and I paid my fare 
See, I know my destination, but I'm just not there. And it got me thinking as I heard this song this morning. It's one of my favorite songs. And what it meant. And this reason why I started this whole vlogging thing. I'm trying to capture moments in my life that I just take for granted every day. Conversations that I had today with my daughter. Conversations that I had with other people. Going to the doctor's office. These are some things that I wish I would have had with my mom. Just these moments. So, think about that. Look that up. It's a Kanye West song. It's called Streetlights. Goodbye. And look at my buddy. <laughs>